Hey everyone, and thanks for joining Progress Texas here at the end of 2020. This is the first time I've worn a suit since March. And like a lot of you, my hair is longer, my waistline is a little bigger. Uh, can't wait to get out of 2020. But in the meantime, while the rest of the world slowed down this year, our work has been busier than ever. In fact, uh, we helped shape 1,300 stories in support of progressive issues here in Texas, generating more than 2 billion views in the media and leading to some of the highest voter turnout Texas has ever seen. Now, uh, this is the end of December, and normally this is when we would be having our holiday party, We'd be getting together with you and celebrating the year that just was. We can't do that this year, so instead we're bringing it to you. And what we're also bringing you is one of the best bands in Texas, Tomar and the FCs. They'll be performing live for a special performance for you in a few minutes, along with a few words from our honoree, Lena Hidalgo. But first, before we get there, I'm gonna join the Progress Texas staff because in a world full of surprises, in a world full of Zoom, you never know what you're gonna get. We're gonna to talk to you a little bit about some of our favorite moments of the year. I'll see you in a minute. Hi, my name is Sarah Gutierrez and I am joined by the rest of the Progress Texas team. We have Satvik, Diana, Wesley, Glenn, and Ed. We are all decked out in our holiday finest. Wesley and Savik have some awesome Christmas sweaters happening. And Glenn did not get the memo. He claims to be wearing a green shirt and that is his contribution. However, we are skeptical. Christmas tree <laughs> green it is. He's wearing his you know, cheer. <laughs> you know, I saw on Instagram this morning that someone posted that this year has been the longest decade and it is absolutely true this year but I, you know i will say that we have put out some of our best work and maybe have had our best year to date i would i would argue so wesley what do you what was the highlight for you yeah so as you mentioned it's been a really great year and it's really hard to choose one major highlight but if i had to i would choose our voting rights work um, you know, back in March when the pandemic first started to really impact our state, we knew it was going to have a huge effect on people's ability to vote and their ability to vote safely. So we, are, we started a petition encouraging our lawmakers to implement mail-in voting across the state and make it available for everybody. And that petition actually garnered over 7,000 signatures and a response from the Secretary of State's office. We also worked throughout the year with our partners in different voting rights coalitions to help people register to vote, sign up to be poll workers, and spread the message that every vote must be counted. And in the end, we saw the highest turnout in Texas history in this year's election, which is a huge victory for voting rights. Yeah, and you know, while we didn't get to expand vote, uh, vote by mail to everyone, we still had some really amazing innovations in voting, like an extra week of voting for early vote, 24-hour uh, polls in Harris County, and, you know, as we head into lunch session, I really hope that we get to keep those innovations that are starting all over again next time. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I completely agree, Sotvik. I hope that we can continue to build upon that progress that we had this year. And I want to give a really quick shout out to some of the other orgs who are doing this work alongside us because it's because of them that we had those innovations. So orgs like Move Texas, Texas Civil Rights Project, Common Cause Texas, and Jolt Texas. And there are so many others. But again, it's because of this coordinated effort from so many different organizations in our state that we had the turnout that we did this year, and we also had the innovations that we saw. So Diana, what was a highlight for you? Uh, for me, a highlight this year was the fact that Progress Texas, along with other amazing organizations across the state in the Trust Respect Access Coalition, uh, stood up for abortion rights together um, as an essential um, thing for care, health care for all Texans, at the start of the pandemic, Abbott should have prioritized uh, public health uh, initiatives to protect Texans, but instead, you know, was going after abortion access with these back and forth lawsuits. But like I said, Progress Texas stood with all of these other coalitions together, and we responded with messaging that abortion is time sensitive, essential health care, and we were able to get coverage statewide and nationally with this positive message. You know, what was so critical about that is that a lot of the other states, a lot of the other red states were looking to Texas to see what Texas could get away with. And, and you know, it was, wasn't just Progress Texas, but our partners like the Texas Freedom Network, NARAL, uh, ACLU of Texas, Whole Women's Health, so many more that I don't have time to mention. But they, 
all everybody getting together and basically pushing back and standing up for this issue set a precedent early on. It was it was good to see that we could bring the focus back to what was important here, which was the pandemic to begin with. Yeah, definitely. And it was so great to work in coalition. And it is something that we're going to continue on into this next year in the legislative session is to continue standing together, uh, positively protecting abortion access for all Texans. Sapphic, what do you think was your highlight in the digital world this year? So I think it was really about empowering everyday Texans to have their voices heard. Wesley, you mentioned uh, the 7,000 people who signed that petition. They are the reason why the Secretary of State had to respond, right? They forced that to happen. Um, when we were going into the election, over 1,300 Texans signed up to be poll workers because of content we were putting out there, but they stood up for democracy. And that's really what was so beautiful to see is how even in the midst of a pandemic, the worst that we've experienced in our lifetime, Texans stood up for democracy, they stood up for each other, and they showed what Texans are all about. You know, and it was really beautiful to see. Glenn, what was your highlight this year? Well, it's hard to call it a highlight, but let's talk about how Progress Texas and other organizations that work with us and around the state, including local governments, responded to the COVID pandemic. It touched all of our lives very deeply. In fact, we're doing this event online with you because of the COVID pandemic. So just about all of our activities have been affected by it. I want to talk about one of the great positives that happened this year. Local governments early on moved quickly to address the pandemic, issued orders to wear masks, limited public gatherings, et cetera. Uh, state and federal governments didn't exactly give them applause for that and took away their authority to do it. But the good news was is how we all work together from the local level to the state level to keep pushing and pushing and pushing on behalf of the health and lives of all Texans. And I think everybody deserves a hand for doing that under tough, tough circumstances because all of us are subject to the same pandemic. And we all stood up and we're still standing up as we enter 2021. Uh, especially uh, Lena Hidalgo down in Harris County, good friend of Progress Texas, our honoree tonight, who not only was one of the first local officials to put in a mask mandate, but it really received a lot of the uh, brunt of the attacks from the governor for doing it. And ultimately, in the long run, she was proven right, and even the governor came around to it. But it took a lot of resilience for her as a local official, first term in office, to stand up and, and, and to make that stand. And it was very impressive to see and very important for us to, to have a leader like that. Now, I think it also helped life eyes on her leaders elsewhere in Texas as well. Her quick action and her steadfast commitment to, to saving lives and protecting health, I think it helped others step up and try to do the same thing. Diana, you're going to talk to her in a minute, right? Yes, so exciting. <laughs> we just talked about Abbott in two contexts. I mean, if there's someone who's going to get coal for Christmas, it's going to be Governor Abbott. I mean, if you think about it, the White House, the Trump White House, said Abbott do better for COVID. And they're not doing a good job at the White House either. So it just goes to show how how poorly he handled this whole thing. And like, maybe coal is even do good for <laughs> I don't know. You get coal to Abbott. You might like coal. <laughs> energy <laughs> from the solar panel. <laughs> we can give him sticks. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ed, what was your highlight this year? You know, for me, it's the, the fact that Progress Texas helped shape uh, helped shape thirteen hundred stories in in the, in this year, and um, Progress Texas shaping thirteen hundred stories, more than thirteen hundred stories. I think is so big because. It gives voice to so many progressive causes out there, whether it's an issue or a candidate or an activist, to anything to show the diversity of the state, that this is not a one-sided state. This is a state with many different viewpoints, and we help get that out there. And in addition to those 1,300 stories, more than 200 pieces of original content, nearly a billion impressions in media, hundreds of thousands in social media, providing that voice, providing that presence day in and day out, I think is so important for our state. To me, I'm really proud of, of that work, not only of the Progress Texas team, but all of our partners and all the activists and candidates who uh, help make all of that possible. You know, as Ed mentioned, I am also super proud of this work. And I would add a couple of things. When you talk about the diversity and media coverage uh, mm -hmm. that comes with this, it's not just us going on TV. It's not just us talking to reporters, but we're sending our partners to TV. We're sending our partners to reporters for stories that they're experts on. And then we also did a research project to encourage the media here in Texas to include more diverse sources. And so I think 
all around, I'm super proud of that um, effort as well, Ed. Yeah. Yeah, and as our comms person, uh, our communications person, I, I hope that you would be here. You're, you're responsible for a lot of it. <laughs> well, we had so much good work this year, and I'm so proud of the work that every one of you has done this year. Um, but our work isn't done. We have Pledge starting in January, and so the fight continues. So speaking of continuing, after this, we're going to talk to Judge Lena Hidalgo, which is really exciting. Um, so thank you all so much for joining us, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, y'all. Everyone. Hello again, everyone. I am Diana Gomez, Advocacy Manager at Progress Texas, now welcoming Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo to tonight's event. Uh, welcome, Judge Hidalgo. How are you doing? Great. Thank you so much, Diana. Yeah, and you know, every year Progress Texas gives out a Progressive Champion Award, and we have named Judge Hidalgo as our 2020 Progressive Champion. Uh, you were truly the obvious choice for this award, and I feel so honored to be able to speak with you tonight. Uh, to start off, how have you kept, kept yourself grounded during this pandemic? Well, first I need to say thank you so much for the honor, and thank you for the work that you guys do. Uh, progressives, as we all know, we believe in, in a level playing field and not having to start from behind. But I think being a Texas progressive has an added definition of being a fighter just by nature of the forces we're up against, of some leaders who don't believe in ac adequate access to health care or education or the ballot box for that matter. And so in order to continue the victories we've been building, in order to continue making progress, we need to reach everyone with our message. Um, we need to amplify the voices of the community and you guys do that. And so I, I want to just thank you uh, for your work and, and for this honor. Um, in terms of staying grounded, well, gosh, it's hard, I think, for every one of us these days with the pandemic and, and everyone's exhausted and it's just as hard for me. Um, and uh, But the thing that helps me a lot is, is exercise, frankly, is running. So I've been rediscovering the green spaces in Harris County and uh, and just loving every bit of it and and um, and trying to, to go out there and run. I'm not the person that brags about getting little sleep. So I try and get enough sleep. I don't always achieve that. But uh, but you know, it's it's supporting one another as well. I, I know we all know people are personally touched by the pandemic by its repercussion and different ones of us have tough days, you know? And so I think being there for everyone, certainly have people that are there for me. It's it's so, so important, particularly when we're facing a crisis that really impacts the entire world like this does. Definitely. And, you know, since taking office as Harris County judge and director of emergency management, you've been faced with deadly chemical fires, floods, and of course, COVID-19. Still, you managed to help launch the critical new initiatives um, in your county, like bail reform. How did you do it all? So actually, the first day I was in the office after, after winning was January 2nd. January 1st was the inauguration. So January 2nd, 2019, I guess it was. Um, we, we were driving in, and, uh, and there was a heavy rain, and we had to... Uh, take a detour and head over to our Office of Emergency Management for that. So it set the tone almost for our tenure so far. And it, it has been just a lot of crises. Um, but we've got a great team and a community, a state that, that really pulls together in, in difficult times. That's been tough with the pandemic, right? With the division where normally we work together, some have tried to sow that division and it's resulted in so many lives lost. But nevertheless, we have to keep pushing for that spirit. That sounds so exciting. And, you know, obviously we're, we're speaking virtually because of, of the pandemic. As the Harris County judge, how have you seen the impact that COVID-19 has had in your community? And what advice would you have for the rest of Texas's leadership who's hopefully watching tonight, and on how to mitigate the impact of COVID-19. 
um, and, and the effect that it's had on the state, especially going into this next legislative session. Yeah, look, it, it, these disasters, these crises really shine lights on what's already broken and exacerbate the issues. And so whether it is um, the importance of child care, right? We saw essential workers early on who, who we needed them, but they didn't have child care. And so that's why we're working so hard on early childhood education, starting with a $10 million seed investment here in, in an incubator program um, that will yield more support. Whether it was access to transportation, what we saw, and I've heard from my colleagues around the state as well, is a lot of folks uh, are not able to go get tested, not because the tests are expensive, they're free as provided by the, the counties and the cities, but because they have no way to get there and our, our public transportation systems are not where we need to be and certainly not everybody has a car and so or can afford one. So, so there's that. Uh, access to technology and access to broadband. You know, first, it, we wanted to make sure all the children had access to a computer and a hotspot so that they could learn from home. And once we got that, it turns out that a lot of areas, even in Harris County, there are several areas that don't have access to broadband. There isn't a cell tower that you can connect your mobile hotspot to. And so we're, we're addressing that with a temporary solution, a long term broadband plan. But, you know, and obviously access to health insurance. So many people that are dying at home that are afraid of going to the hospital because they don't have have health insurance they're afraid of the hospital bill they're afraid of the ambulance bill so you know these are challenges we have to continue to address but one thing that this pandemic has shown that is tragic and that we need to get over if we want to address these challenges is the um the the desire of some leaders particularly at the state level to ignore facts these hard facts um and instead just not make progress on the issues to just err on the side of good news and fake promises as opposed to dealing with the situation as it is as an example right now in harris county and in, in the state pretty much per state law everything is open you know you can have restaurants at almost 100 percent capacity there's a massive loophole for loophole for bars there has been um the ability to have indoor events of any size so long as they're indoors which is obviously counterproductive because the virus spreads more indoors sporting events can take place water parks schools everything and so um then we're wondering why the virus has shot up well there was never the will to make the tough decisions to accept that we needed to support the businesses that can't safely operate uh, as they usually do when the pandemic is raging. And at the same time, to recognize that we have to speak directly to the community and truthfully to the community. And, and we can't just say that everything is fine and, and everything should be open indefinitely because we're gonna end up where we are. The, 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 what the, the pandemic is highlighting is number one, the danger of creating this division, um, and and number two, the importance of buckling down and getting things done. If we brought this under control back in March, back in April, even in June, July, we would be in a much better position right now. We wouldn't be extending the economic pain as we are. We wouldn't be extending the um, the, the number of deaths, the number of illnesses. So I hope that that's a lesson. Um, that we need to be truthful, we need to be honest, we need to be focused on facts, and, and, and gaslighting is not an option, especially during a disaster. Definitely. Well, I hope Texas leadership is, is watching and, and heeding your advice tonight. Uh, final question, what advice would you have for progressives who are working to open doors uh, of government to a new generation of young leaders? kick the door down. I mean, don't wait, right? Don't wait your turn. Uh, it, it, it's tough because this new generation, you know, millennials, Gen Z, beyond, uh, these generations then create the problems that we're facing. Those weak healthcare systems, the uh, weak systems of support for, for young parents, um, or the lack of a, a truly substantial public health infrastructure. But they are going to have to solve them. And so we need the best people and we can't keep them from getting involved in government. One thing I'm heartened by is 
um, the elections, the participation. You know, we asked a piece of good news. I think that's another piece of good news is the incredible turnout we saw in the state, the incredible turnout we saw in Harris County. Um, and that comes because we're opening the doors of government, lowering the barriers to, to participating in safe and secure elections, but not having uh, barriers that keep folks from being able to keep their, that make their voices heard. And so I hope that uh, future generations and younger generations are involved, whether that means running, uh, whether that means working in government, um, whether that means simply becoming involved in a campaign, voting, um, volunteering, it, it all makes such an important difference. It's not just for a candidate or for a cause, it's for democracy ultimately. Definitely. And if there are any folks out there who are uh, looking for any New Year's resolutions, especially young leaders to be, I think, knocking down doors and committing to do that for themselves and for others sounds like a really good one. Um, and it's really great to start on at the end of this year to kick off this next year. Thank you so much, Judge Hidalgo, for exemplifying what it means to be a progressive leader in Texas and for taking the time to speak with us tonight. We here at Progress Texas wish you and your team happy holidays. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for joining us so far. Uh, the next half of our event tonight is a live performance from one of the best bands in Texas, Tomar and the FCs. Now, if you're like me, one of the things you've missed so much during the pandemic has been live music. And that's why we're bringing you a live show tonight to kind of bring back some of those things that we've missed out over the past year. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Thanks for sticking with us and enjoy. All right now. How y'all feeling out there? I wanna thank Progress Texas for having us. And it's for those that thank you all that you do and stand for. We're told by the FCs and we're going to be having a good time with you tonight. Here at Half Step. How you feeling FCs? Y'all feeling all right? The song is called New Way. This year it's going to be a new way, y'all. Come on! No pain. You say it's not your fault, but in this world you stand alone. Before you realize what you got is all gone. The world opens up, you will find your place. Keep the things that may, but they will drive you blind. Don't compromise that feeling that you feel. It's gonna last until the end of time. It's a new way, it's a new way, yeah. Don't you feel it in your heart and your soul? It's a new way, it's a new way, yeah. You try to dig deep, but you keep hitting solid ground. You hold on until the end, your calls and lots of ground. It's hard feel, but the truth won't even buy your time. Just hold on. Till the end, your story's on the ride. The world opens up, you will find your place. Keep the things that may but they will drop you by. Don't compromise that feeling that you feel. It's gonna last until the end of time. Don't you feel it in your heart, in your soul? It's a new way, it's a new way, yeah. It's a new way, it's a new way. Woo! The 
world opens up, you will find your place. Keep the peace that may but live a rock inside. Don't compromise that feeling that you feel. It's gonna last until the end of time. Don't you feel it in your heart and your soul? It's a new way. It's a new way. for a new way, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. This song is called Take Your Time. Oh, man. Feels good on this beautiful Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. So much. <laughs> I like that. One clap. Come on, Texas. Tell 
be a beautiful year coming up, y'all. We're gonna make it beautiful. Oh, the song is called Enough is Enough. Enough is Enough, y'all. Breathing hard after that song, right? <laughs> Y'all still all right out there? Y'all still okay? You know, once again, if you're just walking in, we're Tomo on the FCs. We are from Austin, Texas. He was born and raised here. <laughs> He's a unicorn, y'all. There we go. Andy Timberg on Good Talk. You know, this song is called Rise Above. It's a title track of our album that we released February the 1st, 2020. Seemed like five years ago. <laughs> you know, but exactly what the title is, we gotta learn how to rise above. So much that we're dealing with right now in life. Not just talking about jobs, economical situations, family, health, find that little thing inside you 
and I give you that strength to just learn how to stand up, be about it, not just only talk about it. So we can rise above y'all and be better as people, as a race, as a country, in the entire world. So I wrote these words. Check it out. I took a walk this morning with so much to do. Turn up the TV because my mind was through. Many people talking, the average mind is so confused. No matter what's wrong, you're right instead of searching for the truth. That's the side you live for, it's what's inside your heart. Take the time out to learn me, the only place we can start. Cause I teach us hate, we love rises above above. I get judged by the clothes that I wear, what I'm thinking of. I don't know why, we don't rise above. I don't know why, that's all I'm thinking of. I don't know why, it's so hard to do. I'd like to show you how. It's gonna start with me and you. Uh, I got a real feeling about a brand new day. All it feels like time back in 68. Yes, it does, y'all. Yes, Susan and Lives out here on the streets. Mm. And it's not gonna change unless we feel the deep. Pain is pain, regardless how you see it through. You can't forget about the next man and only focus on you. No, no. The easy way, yeah, is not to the stronghold. So we can run together instead of walking alone. I don't know why we don't rise above. I don't know why that's all I'm thinking of. I don't know why it's so hard to do. I like to show you how. It's gonna start with me and you. Oh yeah. You know what? Being that y'all hanging out over there. In your homes, being safe wherever you're safe at. Let's start tonight. Why not start tonight, y'all? Just take a little small ounce just to start. It starts right here, then it ends up here. Or it starts here and then it goes up here. You know what I'm saying? It's how you feel and how you see it. We still gotta rise above as one. As one, y'all. Y'all ready? Go like this, y'all. So rise above. Oh, we got to, yeah. Rise up, uh, uh. we gotta do it right now. Rise up, uh, uh. oh, we got to, yeah. Rise up. above. Thank you. Being that we're in the spirit, y'all, Christmas is right around the corner. Come on, the FCs would like to wish y'all a very, very Christmas and a happy, beautiful, prosperous new year. Because like this up. Merry Christmas, baby. Thank you. 
faces that you get to me Merry Christmas, man, it's all right Something good to me y'all that was fun now this song here if you want to snap along you can snap along while you're at home even if you're alone it ain't wrong <laughs> okay so it's called shine your light because i sometimes need light shine on toe bar sometimes and i know you need some too so we're gonna shine that light tonight on you you, you know what I'm saying? Woo! <laughs> Shine 
your pretty lights on me, baby. Just like sunshine on my face. When I feel every moment of body, girl. So won't you take me to the beautiful place? Every time you say my name, I heat up like a raging pain. As soon as you walk out that door, you got my body bump, got my bump up. Shine your pretty light on me. Shine your pretty light on me, baby. Shine your pretty light on me. Shine your light. Shine your light. Shine your light. Shine your light on me, baby. Shine your light. Shine your light. Shine your light. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I ride, when oh, yeah, yeah. When I ride, when oh, yeah, yeah. Me and this mic stand will be fighting all night long, y'all. <laughs> Shine some light, y'all. You guys okay out there? All right. Hey, that sugar, darling, let me tell you something, girl, I've been trying to say, you look so sweet, you're so gone, gone by, I just can't get you out of my mind, you become a sweet face in my mind, now, now I want you to be my spouse, so that we can live happily now, now in this great, great, big, roomy house. I know you're gonna go, baby. Uh, yeah. Baby, feel good inside. Come on, darling. Cool me, baby. I need you to move me in. Yeah. I'm Darling, let me tell you something, girl. I've been needing for days. Since plenty, plenty loving, since plenty, plenty hugging. Oh, you cute little thing, girl. Between you and me, now nah, nah, we don't need no company. No other man, no other girl. Could enter into our world Not as long as you move me, baby uh, Make me feel good inside Come on, darling Move me, baby I need you to move me, yeah hey! I'm sitting down hey! Come on, what I'm saying That is funk music right there, y'all. <laughs> the 
없어요. 예. 
haven't learned a fucking thing by now. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And what that tells me, you gave a damn about someone else. So once again, get yourself together and do your fucking thing. So far, the FCs are going to show you how to do it from the back. You guys all right out there? Oh my goodness, I tell you, uh, doing live streams, man, I tell y'all, we had to get used to it. Not hearing hand claps and screams and even uh, occasionally yell. So, uh, but this is working just fine, y'all. Cause I know you rocking on your couch. Where were you at, y'all? Somewhere. But you say, right? You say. The song is called moving like that. If you feel like getting up and dancing, feel free. Uh. Give it to me, girl. And ain't no taking it back. I got the way you move across the dance floor. I got such a care. But that's what you came here for. Then I like that move like that. I like that move like that. Oh, girl, you don't back. I like that move like that. Okay with a label, you can look at don't touch every man and woman. Let's run up a bus. Make your love wanna turn ahead. Make your preacher man wanna blush. You ain't quitting any time soon because you're looking too much. Seven figures, my mom. Where you moving like that? Every man in one mom. Afraid to take a little step. It's so clear, baby girl. You have a too much fun. I'm 
move it like that. Come on. Who like that? Move it like that. Yeah, come on. Let's see. How y'all doing out there so far? Yeah, yeah, come on, 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 come
Help you out there, y'all. You know what? This next song here, man. You know, when you have those Christmas parties, you know, those office Christmas parties. That's all I can just stop right there, you know. There's always that one, you know. Don't you be that one. On a bottle of whiskey, on a bottle of whiskey. Last night, I got loaded on a bottle of whiskey, on a bottle of whiskey. You know what? But I feel all right, feel all right, feel all right, feel all right. On a bottle of gin, on a bottle of gin. Night before last, I got loaded. On a bottle of gin, on a bottle of gin. But I feel alright, feel alright, I feel alright. Night before last, I got loaded. On a bottle of gin.
feels all right. And I feel all right. Cause I feel all right. And 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 I feel all right. Feels alright. Well, I feel 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 <laughs> All right. Drink responsibly, y'all. Man, I'm of the range, you know you're the mastermind. Run, run, Rudolph. Don't think be too far behind. Run, run, Rudolph. You know, got to get those hips back in motion. You know what they say, God lotion is the motion, y'all. <laughs> All right. This song is called Do You Feel It? And I want to say once again, 
progress. Thanks for having to our FCs. Ed Espinosa, thank you. How you doing, Ed? Say something, Ed. <laughs> it's like Woo! I'm tired of talking to the same old things, girl. It's time to put some spice in our life. So we can do it. We put our minds to bed. I read about it, that it works every time. Why we say purple things to each other and concentrate all the good that we see. Cause I miss your spook in the touch. The woman I know, you'll be missing me. I said, do you feel it? Like I feel it. Do you want it? Like I need it. Do you feel it? Like I feel it. You want it. Like I need it. Hey! Woo! Let's take a trip and let's go see the world I live. I know you feel like it's long overdue. I know the saying is time waits for no one. But there's an exception just for me and you. I said, do you feel it? Like I feel it. You want it? Like I need it. Do you feel it? Like I feel it. You want it? Like I need it. Y'all feel it out there? I feel it. Like you feel it, and I know, like you know, it is real. <laughs> you feel it, like I feel it. You want it, like I need it. You feel it, like I feel it. You want it, like I need it. Do you feel it, like I feel it. Do you want it? I got it. Do you feel it? Like I feel it. You want it? Like I need it. I don't even wanna talk no more. 
Walker can't hold water. It was only a matter of time. For love you to know your own life. Now, baby, you got to change. I'm not that type of man. Through this moment, I've been so chill. So much to even stand still. Watching you like a hug. One by one, but you're not your fault. There's no sign that you couldn't afford to do me and get more. Don't even believe a lie Like I said, in your God I don't think we want to talk no more Let us all be the dance no more But you just give it to me back Give me a heart to let go Thank you so much, Tomar and FCs. We are glad to be here at Half Step. Thank the entire staff. I'm so tired, I can't remember my names right now. But Dennis, where you at, bro? Sound guy? I forgot names, man. <laughs> I'm serious. So I'm uh, sorry about that, but give it up for the video guys here. I mean, they did an amazing, amazing job. Doug is somewhere. I think he went home. <laughs> but thank you all so much. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. They're a little late on that, but I'll work with them on that. <laughs> Good night, y'all.